Hey guys, this is Faye from Faye's World, and in this short video, I'm going to show you something fairly significant happened to our campaigns running under Google Ads. Specifically, we are using Google Ads to run YouTube in-stream ads, which is the type of ads that shows up before your selected videos, your targeted videos. But here's what happened. After I've been doing this for myself and my clients for months and months, what we do is we set a daily budget. For example, something very small, like what you see on the screen, $5 a day. And one day I woke up literally two days after the video has been approved, which is this first video that you're looking at, at number two, marketing and website services. I saw a number that says $116. Okay, it was a little bit less because I'm recording this video two days after this incident. And I freaked out for a second because I've never seen this happen. I immediately expected this to be a glitch, a bad thing, because what happened? Uh, why is my ad running so hot all of a sudden exceeding what I set as a daily budget? So for you to panic, make sure that you double check under something that's called report. Let me show you real quick. So if you look to the upper right hand corner, there is something called a reports, which many people neglect. So when you click on report, where you want to go is predefined reports and then slide over, go all the way down to other. And then you're going to see about build cost. Now this report is going to give you a very detailed view uh, for two things. One is called served cost. This is how much money your clicks, your views are worth. Uh, it's what's been served by Google ads and to the right side of the column, it's build cost, which means how much you've been billed for that. Of course, for the most part, these two numbers are going to be very close, if not equal completely, right? You're able to see as I'm scrolling down. So now as I'm scrolling down, here's something that magic, uh, magically happened that really shocked me. So what I mean by that is that the served cost went really high. So let me sort by high versus low. And as you can see right here under phase world services, which was um, the campaign I was showing you. Now you have two numbers, $87 and 94 cents that was served by Google. But what was charged to me was $6. That was a really big jump. Now here's another example, not as crazy and exaggerated as $18 and 70 cents being served and I was billed $6. So let me explain what happened then, because I wasn't aware of this report. I simply assumed that was being billed for this amount that was being served. So I called up Google ads. I was put on hold for like 30 seconds or so. I was able to speak with a representative and she then had to speak with her supervisor and to figure out that because my ad was perform was performing really well, that Google did some sort of back end calculation and basically gave me in a way free money and, and free, uh, visibility in a way. So my ad, if I go back to it, you will see that. Let's go back to my ad in particular, this one right here. Uh, you can see that these ads are actually quite different. The first one is design your website. And you may be wondering what was my targeting techniques? Um, was it super tricky and super advanced? No, it wasn't. I was simply targeting, uh, I'll show you in a second, the audience I was targeting. Uh, basically people were starting a business, people who are starting a new job. I want to target my web design services to new entrepreneurs and some of the seasoned entrepreneurs as well. Um, so as you can see the impressions, I had nearly 6,000 and the views are 895, which, uh, averaged the view rate to be about 15%, which is not extremely high, uh, compared to, you know, this one down below for marketing mentorship, which is targeting the exact same audience, but has a, uh, a lot higher view rate. But then again, once you have a, you know, much higher impression, some of these numbers could be diluted and could change very quickly. And my um, average uh, cost per view is 13 cents, which is not bad, but here's my uh, cost, which is not what I'm paying for. And this is just, I think this is really wonderful. Uh, if you were to ask me, no, it did not last. It only went on for about two days for me, for my ad. I don't know how Google ever uh, chooses or selects the person they want to uh, really run this boost for. 
but I feel really lucky that they chose us and definitely gave us a lot of free visibility. Now let's take a look at the demographic information and, um, um, sorry, I meant actually uh, audience, but now we're under demographic, um, just so you guys know, I tend to want to target people who are not within the 18 to 24 age range. I tend to run them for uh, 25 to 34 and then um, all the way up to be about 64 and 65 and up. I don't typically have them as my clients, so I excluded them as well. Let's take a look at audience here real quick. So my audience, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I have people who are creating new businesses, people who are in advertising, marketing services, uh, career consulting, because some of my clients are coaches and helping people with their careers and people are starting a job soon. This I wasn't so sure about, but a lot of people going through changes and transitions typically are considering hiring, uh, you know, a marketing consultant, hiring a mentor like myself. So those I'm experimenting. Uh, so these are some of the life events that you can easily choose and target within Google ads. So I hope you find this helpful. Please leave any questions that you have, any things that you notice, uh, because Google ads are just getting so complex these days. And there are a lot of little new ounce that we're all learning, adapting and sharing hopefully on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I look forward to seeing you in a new video very soon.